What's up everybody, Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim at Full Grip Games. Today I'm going to be showing off a matchup between the new Mad Party deck from Darkness Ablaze and an updated Phalanx V deck featuring Turbo Patch. Mad Party is a really cool new archetype, not unlike Lost March or Night March, except instead of marching, these guys like to party, so I definitely dig that. There are 16 partiers and you can put 15 of them in the discard pile, leaving one to attack to maximize your damage output and deal 300 damage for just one energy, which is pretty impressive, but the challenge is getting there. You can stream attacks with Bunnelby using twin energy and you can attack with Pultigeist using triple acceleration energy, meaning you only have eight energy in your deck to announce these attacks. It's a really cool new deck though, and I'm excited to show it off in action. The Phalanx deck is updated with Turbo Pack so you can accelerate energy onto your Phalanx and Phalanx V. Twin Energy, of course, helps you to attack with your Phalanx, but the Turbo Patch helps you to get bonus energy attachments throughout the game and attack potentially with Phalanx V as well. Really excited about this gameplay, so let's get right on to it. Let me know what do you guys think of these decks in the comments below. <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Brady, you got to flip the table, bro. Go ahead, go ahead, flip the table, flip man. The table. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Yeah, cl yeah, flip the table. There we go. All right, there we go. All right Brady, just letting yeah. all his frustrations out. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. Just all the stress just, you know, leaves as we flip the table. Excellent. Okay. And now we're ready to go. Best of luck, Brady. Yeah. Best of luck to you as well. All right. I'm going first. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Draw a card. And I'm just going <laughs> to... Oh. Uh, you mind give me that? Fighting energy back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm attached fighting to my active man here. And then I'm going to use a uh, great ball. I think, unfortunately, Phalanx doesn't have a lot of other options other than playing Great Ball. You kind of have to play Great Ball in Phalanx. Pokemon, there's only eight Pokemon in this deck. So, like, seven, seven, not eight. All right. Search. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, I'm just going for this this one. I don't even care. All right. There we go. And then I'm just going to pass to you, man. All right, very good. I'll draw one card. Sure going to play great ball wow i did it are you proud <laughs> i am proud Thanks, the man. chat the chat is now reminding everybody that i had my phone on do not disturb for three months who yeah. wants to be disturbed that's what i was saying <laughs> like you know i was wondering i thought my phone was kind of broken or something because i wasn't receiving phone calls for like months on end but i was like yeah it's fine because like the way i was doing it for three months i would just get phone calls would like instantly go to voicemail or whatever, right? For three months, phone calls were going straight to voicemail. And then I would just have to call them back. And I didn't even, <laughs> <That's sick. laughs> and I didn't even, I didn't even bother looking into it. I was just like, oh, well, you know. <laughs> that rocks, man. <laughs> my parent, my parents would be like, yeah, I tried to call you the other day. Yeah, it went straight to voicemail. I sent your, you know, your voicemail message. Like, my voicemail inbox was also the, <laughs> to compound this issue, my voicemail inbox was also full and I was out of room in it. Mm. So, like, they could not also leave me a voicemail. So, like, calls were going straight to voicemail and then my voicemail would tell the caller that my voicemail mailbox was full. <laughs> <laughs> was full and then they couldn't leave a message for three months so all for three months i would just get calls completely denied yeah that's wild <laughs> yeah man all right um i'm gonna throw this air balloon down and i'll just pass all right time to party chat I got phalanx insane quick ball top deck four cards in your hand man Yep. Seems fine. Four. All right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go and try and set up more. We're just gonna discard this Marnie here, that in the discard pile. I play like a lot of Cynthia and Caitlyn's in this list. I'm kind of a believer in Cynthia and Caitlyn in decks that cannot play, you know, Pokemon based consistency cards. Because if you can't play Pokemon based consistency cards, you're gonna want to draw back into it. You're gonna want to draw into a supporter that draws you other supporters, right? Sure. It's kind of just like what it is. Because it's like I can't, you know, I can't afford a dead draw. So at least with Cynthia and Caitlyn, you're like guaranteeing yourself more draw which mm -hmm. is like all you really want right because you can't play you can't play cards so like this next turn like i could just go get a boss's orders that that's the cool thing right because i have cynthia and caitlin in my hand now so like that's that's really the whole the whole deal also cynthia and caitlin another cool thing about cynthia and caitlin in this deck is it puts the fighting energy into the discard pile and then you can try to turbo patch them so like that's like the other you know 
the other cool thing. That so is we're gonna neat. Quick ball. Yeah, we're gonna search the deck and just get another phalanx into play, and then I am going to attempt turbo patch. Wait, there we go. Nice big flip tails. Dang it! Lucky. That's fine. Uh, all right, and then we're just going to team attack or knockout. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to promote <laughs> my rank. Okay, I will use T break to draw two cards. That's kind of busted. Yep. I'm into that. Thanks, man. All right, I'm going to quick ball away to Dene. What is that thing? That's not a Sinistee, it's a Poltegeist. Poltegeist. That's it. Yes. <clears throat> All right, and with my quick ball, I am going to get. Huh. Another Sinistee. You're just setting up the Sinistee, not even going for Bunnelby here, huh? Yeah. Uh, right, I'm going to get. Sit. Use another quick ball. Oh, you have another quick ball? Uh huh. Yeah, big pog. Definitely big pog. Uh huh. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, this is the Pogger starting hand for sure. For sure. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go for one of these here bats. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, the Pulte guys does hit me for weakness. It sure does. That's pretty sick. Yep. All right, I'm gonna draw five cards with my bat. Nice. All right, how many how many fellas do I have down? I've got four, oh, three fellas. Three fellas. I'm doing 60 times yep. two, which is 120. So that's With pretty cool. trip. All right. That's pretty good? Yes. I'm going to retreat my Rangaroo. I'm not going to keep the dice there. I'm just going to ask you. Ah. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, it's doing too much for sure. Yep, sounds good. Especially <laughs> since you can't rotate dice. True. Um, <clears throat> yes, okay. And I'll mad party for knockout. All right, because you're doing 120. Yeah. And then I have one phalanx. All right, cool. Yep. I did decide to get out all these phalanx and not this one. I mean, this one is weak to psychic, and, you know, you could knock them out with the pulty guys. So, all right, we're going to go here, and I'm going to draw. So, that was a good top deck. Uh, at this point, this is where Cynthia and Caitlin is just very good. Uh, we're going to use Cynthia and Caitlin, and I'm going to discard Vitality Band. And. Um, draw three cards. And then out of the discard pile, I am getting the boss's orders for sure. That was the one that I had wanted. So we bring that to our hand and got the twin energy, got phalanx, got great ball. I'm going to play that. Look at the top seven. Take a look at these. Oh, uh, nice. This gets discarded. Yeah. That does get discarded, yes. Unlucky. Yes, yeah, unfortunate, really. <laughs> All right, look at these. <clears throat> ah, we've got another boy. Cool. Now we got the gang all here. And yeah, I just, you know, I just want to be doing max damage. Just want to have all my dudes out. Feel sure. Good. Yeah, the gang's all here. And one, what's what's the difference? One Phalanx V on the bench, two Phalanx V on the bench, you know, three Phalanx V on the bench, whatever. All right, we're going to attempt to Yerbo patch again. Yeah. Yo, thanks so much, Riley, for the tier two sub. Yo, what's up, Riley? I appreciate it. 19 months. All right, heads on that turbo patch. Appreciate the support, Riley. Thank you so much for tuning in, man. Hopefully, hopefully you're doing well, having a busted day so far. Appreciate it, Riley. Tier two, Riley Hulbert, a legend. Thanks, Riley. So, yeah, we're going to load up this Phalanx here. I don't think it's worth it getting in energy onto the you know, the Phalanx Vs. So then, uh, yeah, I'm just going to take a knockout with uh, Team Attack on the Poltegeist. Sounds good. And then next turn, since I hit that, you know, we're looking at potentially take a knockout on Crobat V next turn, which is pretty gnar. Okay. Unless this hand gets disrupted. All right, so I'm going to use this Poltegeist ability called Tea break and I'll draw ah, two yes. cards. JW is also a big fan of the Mad Party deck. Yeah, the Mad Party deck is nuts. <laughs> <laughs> All 
Okay, so how much? Yeah, you haven't even gotten to Hapu yet, man. <laughs> I'm about to. That's when you reach like I think that's <laughs> that's where you reach enlightenment with the Mad Party deck is when you Hapu. <laughs> right. So you're taking sixty less because of these <clears throat> phalanxes. Yeah, I'm taking sixty less. Yeah. Cool. And I have currently one, two, three, four, five partiers. Interesting. So that if I want to knock you out with Bunnelby, I need to get to what? more than that. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna use you, the. Arena. You do also play a Dust Skull in there that can discard three cards from your hand. Oh, cool. that rocks. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna do the Oranguru thing and throw this guy there. Because you know you're about to hop who it anyway. So I sure like, am. Huge brain play there from Brady. <laughs> Brady st stacked a Dedenne onto the top of the deck just to hop who it. Yeah, huge brain play there, Brady. Nice call. Thanks, man. I you got it, man. Cook that one up in the lab. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Um, how many boss doors does this deck play? Do you know? Um, the deck plays, I think, two and a great catcher. Two and a great catcher. Gotcha. Yep. Okay. And it could go more. I mean, we could play like, you know, we could play three, you could play an Eldegoss. Like, that's just the first draft of the list. Really, you have to dedicate a ton of resources just to get that deck to kind of. <laughs> to work, yeah. To work, yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Right. I definitely want this, I know. Yeah. The second card's a little more tricky. Oh, I guess I don't even have to show you what cards I'm taking. That's nope. what Hapu does. That, that's pretty sick. Um. So I need to be able to do 160 if I want to knock this out with Bunnelby. Because I don't think I'll ever be able to knock out Phalanx Vs with Bunnelby. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, you have to do a lot. I mean, two twenty. Your deck can do three hundred damage, as JW showed. Yeah. The other day. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. All right. I'm gonna quick ball. This ah, get another one into the discard ball. You do play two rods. Yes. So you can be. You can afford to be like very. Uh, Let me make sure my math is correct here. All right, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, eight. Okay, very good. My math was correct the first time. All right, so eight, that is 160, minus 30 is 100. And I will knock this guy out with the bundle. Right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm just making funny jokes in the chat. All right, oh, here we very go. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going to promote uh, Phalanx over here. Wait, no, it's minus 20 for each one. Yeah, right. It's minus 60. Yeah, it's minus 60. Yeah, don't. Right, right, right. So then uh, 160 minus 60, you do 100. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, chill. Promote that. Drop a turn. Um, I've got an energy here, and I think I'm just going to take this opportunity while I have it. I don't think you have, like, very much, if any, energy denial, or not energy denial, but hand disruption in your deck. So I think I'm just going to take this opportunity to boss the your crow heavy. Oh. And I'm doing uh, 3, 6, 9, 12 times 2, so 240, because he is weak to fighting. So yep. we'll, uh, we'll take that knock out there. All right. <clears throat> I'll just and bring up my two prizes. Yeah. Yep. That was a pretty gnarly hand there to get off the prizes. Okay. Um, I'm going to play Evolution Incense. Okay. Search my deck for one Evolution Pokemon. I will say, like, with the, uh, you know, with the, the Turbo Patch is kind of just enough. If you... Like to allow you to stream some phalanxes, which is kind of cool. All right, you know, I got this Mr. Rhyme, and I'm going to ship him away with the Poltergeist. Yeah, 
Hmm. Okay. A cool thing there is you do get to keep your attacker. Right. So, like, you're guaranteed another turn to attack. And I could miss energy somewhere along the line. True. You know, for sure. It's not guaranteed. Like, the last one was pretty easy because I had already hit a turbo patch. But the next one, I'm going to have to find, you know, a twin energy. And I don't actually play any, you know, there's no Dedenes, no Crobats in this deck, so... I'm gonna creep ball. I will say, great ball doesn't feel great, but I think you have to play it. I, I think it's better than Pokemon Communication in that deck. Um, yeah. It just feels like yeah, you just need to like get Pokemon to your hand at all costs. You know, whatever they are, like you know, you just gotta get them. And you can't, you don't want to trade other Pokemon into the deck because they're like, no, 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 I won't. I want that, too. You know, you want all of them. You want all right. the Pokemon in your hand. Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely not sniffing Pokemon communication near any deck that I'm ever going to play. <laughs> yeah, no, I also, I don't love Pokemon communication. I don't, yeah. but... You got Hapu um, again? Okay, actually, no. I'm going to do the Oranguru ability. Hopefully I can find bosses orders here. That would be pretty epic. Do you have boss on a Phalanx for knockout? I mean, that's what I'm trying to do with this Oranguru. <laughs> Oh, right, right, right. I did not get there. Ah, okay. <laughs> Unlucky. Um, okay, so I guess we're just going to Hapu. Sure. Hapu's funny. I mean, like, especially after playing some of the older, uh, playing some of the older formats where you used, like, uh, you know, Misty's Wrath. Right. Hapu is kind of like Misty's Wrath light. You know? <laughs> right, right. Um, and uh, Misty's Wrath is like such a nutty card. It's like a, basically an item card that lets you look at the top seven cards of your deck, pick two, put them to your hand, discard the rest. So Hapu definitely gives you some Misty's Wrath vibes. And that's from, you know, Misty's Wrath from like the early gym sets, Wizards of the Coast era. Uh, Pizza Hutch, yeah, Lookalike Bell. I thought about Lookalike Bell in a couple of decks, but like the issue with Lookalike Bell is it doesn't help you on like the early turns of the game, so you'd have to play, you know, probably like a light count of look, like one or two, right? Because you you don't want to open it, but like as you get into the game, maybe it becomes good. But I think I decided because I looked at look alike bell for the phalanx deck too, because I'm running just four quick ball, four great ball in the phalanx deck. But then I looked at look alike bell, and then I was like, I mean, if I open look alike bell, it's just gonna be so bad, right? Alright, um, and then I'll Matt party for knockout. Yep. Alright, take the knockout on Phalanx there. And we're going to have to go for knockout this turn. Hopefully I hit an energy. I only need to stream two more attackers. Cool. We'll draw. Yep. Air balloon there. It's pretty good. Um, put that onto one of my Phalanx Vs. And I'm just going to quick ball. I'm going to discard a research. Search the deck. I'm out of basics. Yeah, I do play two rods, so we're going to have to find one of those rods. That'd be great. Yep. Definitely a decent shot we miss this turn. All right, we're going to fail the quick ball. Research, discard the hand. And then we're getting seven cards. Ah, I was never going to miss. What the heck? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Who am I kidding? True. All right, so we're going to go there. We're going to go there. And then... Uh, this is my last Phalanx, though. So, like, I am going to have to hit one of them, too. Oh, it looks like I have prized one, so I could hit one off the prize as well. No, there's actually one in my active. Never mind. I have not prized one. Yep. <laughs> going to have to hit one of those rods or some more turbo patches to take game. All right, take a knockout. Yep. Yep. We got the Martial Arts Dojo there, too. Though this card, I this card, the fact that it you have to have basic fighting energy attached to your Pokemon, that's like it kills me with that card. Why do you have to have basic fighting energy attached for the martial martial arts do dojo to work? So sad. 
I'm gonna get that guy with evolution incense. Um, and while I'm messing around with the deck, I'll ordinary rod. Sure. Let's see, do I have like normal headphones here? Oh, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These Pokeball things are starting to hurt my ears, chat. I'm gonna have to go with some classic earbuds. I feel like I've been underwater for like an hour. Bunnies. I think they're just the having some serious <laughs> sensory issues from them. Pokeballs squeezing my head. So let's go here. I'll go for something a little lower profile. Ah, I'm going to. That's nice. Trade <laughs> but now, like, Ryan. as you can see, like now I'm like <laughs> the cord is all the way over here. I'm gonna have to sit a little closer to the computer. I guess yeah, we could just do the camera that way. That's fine. You guys are gonna see a little bit of my shelf, but that's fine. Yo, Lero Shoe, thank you so much, Lero Shoe, for the tier one sub. Appreciate it. Let's go, and thank you guys all so much for the viewership and uh, for chilling with us while we vibe out and test some uh, next formats. It's been a lot of fun, and thank you guys for uh, for the hype with the new sets. Forbit Games is going to be getting our pre-orders up very, very, very soon, uh, probably this week. Uh, for the new cards. So if you're excited about the new cards, we're going to be having them, having those available very shortly for pre-order at forwardgames.com. I'm going to do the Orangaroo thing. Sure. All right, um, then I'll knock out the Phalanx. Sounds good. All right, just going down. Now I am going to need some, uh, some magic here. And you've got two prizes left? Yep. Dang, man, I could lose. Mm -hmm. uh, Brady, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I know, man. Yeah. He's like, I've been known. Um, okay. Got another air balloon. I have to research. I don't think I can detach the fighting energy. I need to hit one of my two. All right, we're just going to research. I need to hit one of my two ordinary rods. And we do play two ordinary rods just so that, like, hopefully this doesn't happen. All right. Let me draw seven. Oh, my gosh. No. <laughs> I'm so close. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no. I'm so close. What the heck? I can't. I can't do it all. All right, all right, all right. Um. You know this man's got boss's orders. Okay. I can't do it all. Because my only search is capture energy, not an actual... I would have it if I had a... If I had one more turbo patch, I'd have a shot. All right, we're going to ordinary rod. For the two links back in the deck. Cool. And then... Uh... I'm going to capture energy. Sure. And search for one of those links. And then... Attempt turbo patch. Mm -hmm. That's Tails. Dang, I accidentally flipped the... Uh, <laughs> that was yeah. pretty cool, though. And then... Uh, yeah, I don't need to ordinary rod. You got boss's orders, man? It's my top deck. Did you stack it? Uh huh. Dang man. Do you have enough damage to knock out one of these phalanx? I do with this guy. With the both <laughs> guys. Do you have another energy for that? Oh, it doesn't matter. The twin energy works. Yeah. All right, GGs. Dang. So close, Jet. Ran out of boys. All right. What more could I have done? All right. Game two. All right. We were looking pretty filthy there for a second. I thought. Thought I had you. Thought I had you, but that was close. So. Right. right. The main appeal is definitely that we hit, if we're talking about, like, why Phalanx? It's, we're looking for decks to hit Eternatus for weakness, right? That's 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 the idea. So, just giving it a try. All right. Um, I will go first. Sounds good. All right. I've got a mulligan. Nice. I would and never have we're one of those. seeing if like 
Turbo Patch can fix some of Phalanx's problems. That's what we're trying to see. Because, like, obviously we tried Phalanx last format. It didn't work. Like, at all. So, we're going to see if it's, like, a little bit stronger. And we went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Map Party. I do think Map Party is just pretty decent. You know, as far as non-GX. But there's like a certain... There's a handful of decks you just cannot beat with Mad Party, though. All right. We're going to draw. It's a very strong start for us. We're going to Great Ball. Get a Phalanx. And the list is setting up very well, too. We'll say, like, the Phalanx deck... We play two Ordinary Rods. Like, do I need to play more than two Ordinary Rods? Probably not. You know, that's like a reasonable amount of Ordinary Rod to play. Um, Going to capture energy, the Phalanx. Search for another Phalanx. You've got a Bunnelby in the active? Yep. No way you knock this thing out turn one. All right. I'll pass to you. All right, sounds good. Yep. Tweed, I've thought a lot about Whimsicott GX in this next format. Unfortunately, I think that decks just get even more aggressive, right? I mean, like, Eternatus VMAX, one hit KO Whimsicott pretty easily. It's just, uh, it's pretty tough. I don't think that there's a great way to play Whimsicott in the new format. Oh, did I not shuffle? I'll make sure I shuffle. And it loses Zebstrika. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Zebstrika's gone. That's so sad. I know, right? Yes, Phalanx is just our Colossal VMAX placeholder. Absolutely. I mean, we're going to play Colossal VMAX. I was trying to build a fighting deck this morning, and I was looking at the options, and I was like, all right, we're either going to play Phalanx. I also had brought out some Stone Journers. I was looking at Stone Journer VMAX because you could accelerate to Stone Journer VMAX using... Or you can uh, accelerate to Stone Journer V using Turbo Patch, right? But it's not enough. I don't think it's enough. Um, okay. To make the deck, like, you know, playable. And also, like, just doing 200 damage on a VMAX is not really enough. All right, we got a big turn here. We're going to Mad Party for 20. All right, big Mad Party for 20 damage. Yep. yep. That's fine. Draw. Got Vitality Band on this Phalanx. I have no targets for Turbo Patch, I'm pretty sure. Ah, oh, yeah, Great Ball is my only card in the discard ball. Yeah, that's why I can't search. All right. Yep, we're just going to research. Cool. And draw seven cards. Pretty decent here. We've got that. Great Ball again. Take a look with the Great Ball. I kind of expect that at this point. There's only eight Pokemon in the deck, and we have a lot of them in play. So that's fine. We do have the basic energy for this Phalanx, and we're just off to the races. So we can treat this, bring Phalanx up, and... Yep, just going to Team Attack for Knockout. Sounds good. I'll send up the T guy. All right. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and evolve him. Sure. Give him. You got your twin energy broken. Oh, and then. Just going to yeet I'd the like, hand. Yeah, I'd like to research this hand. Sure. And we got one more party person going into the discard pile there. So you have at least three down now, yeah. right? Right. So you're hitting for 60, 120. That's enough for a knockout? Right. Yeah. So that's good. Going to quick ball away to Dene. Mm. I should have done this differently. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, I'll get another Sinistee. Uh, will I? 
I'm gonna clear the deck for a little, little secky sec here. Yeah, I'll get another sense too. You good, man. <laughs> I'm gonna get a little bit more of an upward oh. angle here. That's nice. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Okay. Then I'll. Yo, what's up, JW? Evolution incense. And I'll grab that fella. Galarian, Mr. Rhyme. Yo. Yo, chat, what's your opinion on Galarian, Mr. Rhyme? All right, I'm going to do a poll. I love polls. <laughs> Who doesn't love a nice poll? Yeah. All right, opinions on Galarian, Mr. Rhyme. I'm doing my trade ability. It's actually called T-Rake. Creepy. Better than the original. Let's see. Worse than the original. Uh, and I'm going to knock out the guy with Mad Party. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Those are your options. All right. Glare, Mr. Rhyme. They have the poll going now. Big knockout. All right. Phalanx V. Glare, Mr. Rhyme, I think, is a Pokemon that definitely, you know, people uh, have very firm opinions on, positive or negative. All right, I'm going to get Twin Energy on a Phalanx. Um, I guess I'm going to put it on this Phalanx because I don't need the boot. Actually, I'm going to need another attacker. You're minus 30, and yeah, this Vitality Band might actually make a difference. Maybe? I don't no, think can. No, because if I get one more, then yeah. yeah, yeah. So we're putting it here, yep. Um, and then I think I'm just going to research this entire hand. How many cards are in your hand? Six of them. Yeah, so like, I don't really care about Marnie. I just need to like not whiff things. So I'm just going to... Keep trying to research as much as I can. So we'll draw seven cards. That was a good hand. Nice. And bench. This guy. Better than the original. 53%. And then, well, I guess we did have, yeah. Wow. More people thought that Galarian Mr. Ryan was better than the original. Wow. I am stunned. I mean, original Mr. Mime is definitely horrible, so... <laughs> what? Original Mr. Mime is the guess, bro. There are definitely two, like, bottom 20 Pokemon. What? <laughs> I'm tilted, man. <laughs> um, I'm going to discard the air balloon. Yeah, discard those. Search the deck. Get another boy into play. All right, I'm going to need some magic to happen here these next couple turns. Like, I'm going to need a turbo patch somewhere along the line because, you know, streaming attackers is getting difficult. So, it's fine. Got this here. Sure. Four boys on the bench. Mm. Hit the old team attack. Right, or good. knockout. Yep. All right, I'm going to send up one of these little tea felons. Draw for turn. Okay. So you have three of the Phalanx Vs. Which yes. Which means you're taking 60 less damage. I currently have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven partiers. Which means I'm doing 280 to the Phalanxes. Seems like plenty. Yes. Yeah, 280 so... if you're hitting for weakness, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And I am. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Let's see. Here he is. <laughs> Busted. Here's my man. Yeah. Another Pulte Geist and the Triple XL. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see. We're going to pop an Evolution Incense off real quick. I will say the Mad Party deck Broken is deck like... for sure. It's consistently yeah. doing what it needs to do. Ooh, actually, rather than getting the sneaky Mr. Rhyme just to trade away, I'm just going to get this guy and evolve. Yeah. Seems better. Seems good. Yeah. Um, okay, we'll trade away Bunnelby. Bunnelby. Trading yeah. away the Bunnelby. Who needs him? All right. Oh, nice. So we got another incense. Yeah, I think that deck is just maxed out, like, four quick ball, four incense, four great ball. Like, there's not a more explosive engine than that. Yeah, thank you so much, Crossgram, for the sub four months. Trading Appreciate it. Okay. I'm going to boss. Um, You've got the boss this turn? I do. What see. a sack. <laughs> um, see, do I want to get rid of the one with the... Yeah, I think I want the air balloon one. 
Yeah, the air balloon. Uh, I just yeah, traded yeah. away an air balloon too, so yeah. that's kind of stressful. Yeah, I'm gonna knock him out. All right, you're just gonna bring him up and knock him out. Yep. Cool. All right. Yep. We're promoting this phalanx again. That was rough. That was rough. All right. Drop. Well, now I'm like, just very much. Yeah, definitely gonna Marnie you because like sure. I'm gonna attach this energy to the phalanx. And I'm gonna Marnie you, and it's like okay, you know, I haven't been using my hand disruption that much. Oh wow, yeah, that was sick. I really like what. <laughs> I really like what it did there. That was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> what is occurring? That is my magic mouse, just like doing some wizardry is what that's doing, you know? All right, there we All go. Right. So, yeah, we'll stack that. Sometimes, you know, because the magic mouse, you can rotate things with the magic mouse just by, like, waving your finger. So if my finger just, like, twitches it all on top of the magic mouse, the piles just go zing. Mm. I intended to not use the magic mouse today, but I just completely spaced and forgot. All right. I'll search the deck. Okay, we're going to Ordinary Rod while I've got it, and I'm going to put Phalanx and Phalanx V back into the deck. Discard the Rod, those guys back in. Shuffle that up. I've already attached an energy, doing 90 damage. So I'll just take the knockout. Okay. I'm going to promote the bunny. Okay, interesting. So I'm going to quick ball here. Sure. Can get rid of this crowbat. You know, and it's like you kind of wish that there was Dedenne in this deck, but, like, you also just can't play Dedenne in For good sure. conscience. Like... You know, there's only eight Pokemon in the deck. You'd start it more than you want. It decreases your damage output. Yeah, I don't think that you can play Dedenne GX in the deck. Or Crobat. Like, is it really worth it to play Dedenne or Crobat? You would probably start them more than you wanted to. And if you put them down, they make your numbers all horrible. I guess you could play, like, a Crobat and just say, if I'm going for, like, knockout on a... You know, maybe I'm going for knockout on a Dedenne or a Crobat. I don't actually need a full bench in order to take that knockout. So, yes. Passman 2, you could, yes. You could play Giovanni's Exile, but then that's like a one-up supporter that I have to find. Oh, Brady. I did it again. I did it again. All right. Alt-click, bro. Alt. Hold Alt, right-click. Lift your deck up. Lift your deck up into your hand. Hold Alt, right-click, bro. What are you lift, your, about? lift your deck all the way up into your hand. The whole deck? Yep, and then hold Alt and right-click. No, no, not into your hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like what do you right mean here. into my hand? You said into just, my hand. Just like this, hovering. <laughs> yeah. All right. And then hold Alt and right-click. And then those will get the cards off the bottom of the deck. Is it just one? Didn't you just put like two or three I in the bottom two, of the deck? Yes, I just keep doing it. All right, very good. There you go. And now continue drawing two. off the top. Yeah, that's two. crazy. Yes, yeah, so there you go. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to search. Sure. Okay, definitely went to that. And... Shack paralysis. I wish you could scoop up net. Um, Crobat V, but you cannot, so you can't. You can't just use scoop up net with Crobat. I mean, that that'd be like expanded format. And expanded, we use scoop up net and Shaman, cause like, you can do that. But yeah, you can't scoop up V Pokemon or GX Pokemon. So unfortunately. Um, yeah, and that's what I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to figure out if Phalanx deck can work without actually playing any of those consistency Pokemon on the bench. My cards are stuck together. Let go of each other, fellas. All right. Yeah, two Hoopas, not a... Yeah, Super Scoop Up does rotate. Yeah, how do I separate these guys? What did you do them. here, Brady? They're they're touching each other. Oh, all right, very good. Thank you. Oh no, you still need to click click the mat. Just click somewhere else, and then click uh, the card. Yeah. Epic. Yeah, yeah very yeah. good. Uh huh. All right. There we go. Very good. All right, I'm gonna give him a balloon. Sure. And I'm going to use his ability. Okay. You're being very careful not to put, um, you know, not to put Denny down. I see. Yes. It's definitely giving you an edge here. Yes. Uh, and then I'll... Um, I'm going to bench this funnel B, I think. Sure. Then I'll mad party for knockout. Cool. All right, taking a knockout. Yep. There it goes. I'm going to put the phalanx up. Draw my card. 
Okay, got air balloon for the phalanx V. Got a basic fighting energy for the phalanx. And yeah, I'm doing enough, so I mean, I'm chilling. How many do I have in the discard pile now? It's one. It's fine. I put him up into the active. I don't think you play any way to disrupt my hand, so I'm just going to take the knockout here. Sure. Turn. Hoping that you just don't have like energy bosses orders here. I mean, I'm assuming you have enough party people in the discard pile now. There's a lot of party people down there. One, two, uh -huh. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Should be more than that, right? Might be. Oh, kind of nine. <laughs> Sick. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, it's eleven. Yeah. Great. So two twenty. Yeah, that'd do it. Okay, I'm going to trade this gentleman to land and draw two. Okay. Play another great ball. Sure. Okay. Do the filthy Dedenny, you gonna data change for it? Um, no, I think I'm just gonna do the the smart play and just knock out the active and then knock just attack twice and you win. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Dang man. <laughs> um Yeah, I don't think that there's I, anything that I can do. I mean I could whiff the energy, but the odds of that are incredibly small. You do only have eight energy, but like, I mean, yeah, you take out a V Pokemon and then, you know, and I've been able to go toe to toe. Like, I'm attacking every turn for the most part. Okay, I'm going to Hapu. Yep. But, uh, you know, Mad Party just seems like, you know, the deck's setting up. It's doing exactly what it needs to do. And Marnie, do you want? Like, you were able to draw through that pretty easily. You haven't even had to put any of your GX V Pokemon down or anything like that. Right. Um, I think I just want the energies here. I don't think I really care about the boss's orders because I can knock out either guy. Sure. So I think the uh, yeah, the Marnie actually stuck me harder than it stuck you. So. <laughs> it's because my deck's broken. I mean, I had a shot there to win game one. I just yeah, I couldn't find any of my rods, man. Right. Okay, and then I'll do the Orangaru maneuver. And as it turns out, attacking with Phalanx V is actually like nearly impossible, even with Turbo Patch. Yeah. All right, do you have the Triple XL already in your hand? I do, and I have one on top of the deck in case you marty me. Oh my gosh, bro. And I'll knock out. Insane. All right, he's stacked himself. Cannot lose. All right. Draw. Yeah. I can take a knockout and go to one prize remaining, but like nothing else i could do i mean really i had to put down the v pokemon i can't not put them down right right yep i took knockout every single turn i took the first knockout uh -huh. it just doesn't matter yep right. so like uh yeah we take that knockout with team attack go to one prize one prize uh, left I but then this. uh yep. brady's got it all right yep. two oh the phalanx deck dang man i thought phalanx was gonna have a real shot here with the turbo patches. Mad Party's just too broken. Mad Party, well, Mad Party taking the dub there. So that was, uh, that was pretty sick. 2-0. Mad Party versus the Phalanx deck. 
And that's it for the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like the video, sub to the channel, ring that bell, and of course, check out the Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash Tricky Gym, where I stream live Pokemon trading card game content every single weekday. If you've got extra cards lying around the house and you want to get some cash, make sure to check out the Full Grip Games buy list. The link is in the description below. We are always buying cards here at Full Grip Games, and selling your cards to Full Grip directly helps to support the channel, and it gets you some cash. So it's a win-win. Thank you all so much for watching, and make sure to have a great day. I'll catch you next time. Peace.